Everybody's heard of the new Beofing handheld radios uh, that's taking America by storm. Chinese, just like the uh, the Wuxing, Wuxing, whatever, how do you, however you pronounce it, um, imported from China, of course. Uh, and they're really cheap. They're even cheaper than the Wuxings, like forty dollars or less on eBay. And and they're really small and really hard to use. But since I lost my last handheld, I had an ICOM T7H that was my pride and joy. Um, it just kind of disappeared somewhere. I went ahead and got my own. I'm gonna unbox this this radio and show you it. So I received this as it is. This is this is the green uh, like custom like wrapping with the customs declaration and the stamps. And as you notice on one end, it's completely untaped. I I don't know why. If I open it up here. Oh look, Beofing VHF UHF. Huh. Not even taped. Not even bubble wrap. That's just crazy. So I could go just like this and it'll come out. The Beofing VHF UHF ultra compact dual band transceiver with wide band coverage. Now we're going to open it up. This is interesting. Um, I guess they designed this to make it upside down because they're in China. So I guess this holds all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? So what we got here? We have a, a USB plug-in charger. It doesn't have like the little holes on the the prongs, a battery, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, wonderful, power charger, a belt clip and the radio right here, and this is tiny, and yeah, it's packaging, a lanyard or belt clip, or, here's the headset, um, headphone it looks like, it's kind of nifty, goes over the ear. A USB charging cable and and <laughs> the antenna stuck in that little wrap there there we go get rid of this plastic and the antenna oh my gosh that's going in the trash comes with a user's manual it's the perfect upgrade dual display oh yeah this is a dual display version and I got it from 409 shop on eBay. They they sell they sell ladies accessories and radio accessories. So here we have it, all that junk. Let's uh, unwrap it, put the battery in, and see how it works. Here's the back of the radio. Um, the little thing on the bottom there pops off, and we can see it's Beofing frequency power. From Beofing Electron Company Limited. They make electrons, how about that? So I have small hands and so this thing's rather tiny. So I'm gonna stick the battery in here and I wish I had my tripod. It only has two um, jacks. Usually there's like one. That doesn't even fit. <laughs> okay. Maybe it goes in back to front. No. Front to back. Oh, oh, I think I heard something. There we go. It works. It's not dead on arrival. That's good. So this radio is a total of, I don't know, eight inches tall with the antenna on. Um, the radio itself is like four inches tall. It's that thick. The, uh, it has a lot of interesting nifty features and I'm, I'm kind of afraid to drop this thing because I don't think it will survive <laughs> Plastic case and all that comes with this pop on pop off thing. It's it's the uh, what does it do select the frequency? The display is pretty slow, but it like locks there, which is nice What does this button do? the orange LR button turns on the, the LED flashlight man isn't that just an interesting little that's just a nifty little thing they put on radios nowadays that come out of China a little LED flashlight why didn't like why don't Yesu why didn't Yesu figure that out that would be such a nifty treat so I'm gonna try to tune in a repeater 
Okay, after eight minutes, uh, I figured out the little menu system is pretty intuitive. All it is, you hold down menu, and you wait for it. <laughs> hold down menu, you pop that thing, and, and you'll be able to go through all the things. And the, the manual is not that badly written. Um, there's some spots where it's like, yeah, I don't get it. But most of it's just, you know, pretty self-explanatory. But, looks like it's working. Sin Zero SSC, testing. Yep, it worked. Now, how do I save it? Another thing I don't like in here is if you want to hear the open up the squelch really quick, you have to hold down volume. For a while. And then, once you let it go, it turns off. And so, sometimes I like to hit that monitor switch and like, hear it really quick and be able to turn it on and off. I'd be able to check the other side, which is what my, what my T7H would do, check a simplex link. And yeah, the volume, you have to hit volume. Sometimes the first time doesn't always work. And then you move the volume uh, knob and, it, and, and it's rotary. Like it'll go up to the max and then go back down to zero. Like so. Isn't that goofy? At least it works. You know, oh, some, that's that's surprising to me. I, I do wonder if I can do like a cross uh, satellite operations with this thing. That might be interesting because I mean it does have the dual display, but I don't know. It, it probably does. It's got something called dual watch. Transmit on one, receive on another. It should work. It should work. And I'll let you know if it doesn't. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my, my unboxing video. Um, go out and get yourself a Beofing UV3R. Or don't. I wouldn't. Even though I did. But that's just because I don't have any money. I don't like country. Let's see if we can hear some rock. It doesn't get the rock station very well. I guess Chinese people have something against rock and roll.